Alright, so here we are. Back here. Bob Jr.'s garage. Anyway. Just purchased this little thing. Got it pretty cheap. I'm not going to say how much, but... LT1000. Craftsman series. A little tractor. Got a 42 inch cutting blade. Little battery compartment here. I've seen people making videos about using these things as like little workhorses. Putting off road tires on them. Doing a few adjustments with the pulleys and whatnot. And I thought, well, why not? I got a cute little mower that we use for the yard. It works really good. I'll keep it for the yard and I'll turn around and use this bad boy to, uh, to call it a redneck ATV, I suppose is what they call it. But I don't know. Something's messed up in the steering. Front end's all scuffed up. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Alright, so here we are in my mess. I got the old craftsman mower here. As you can see, I've got the hood off. A new belt up there. Kind of had to straighten some things out. I'm not fully straight yet, but it's closer. I had to go down the frame rail. It was all bent. The whole back end was shifted to the left. So I had to straighten that out. It took some figuring, but I got it. And I had the rear end out, so I decided that it would pop the pulley off of that some bitch. The battery sits above it, and it looked like the pulley probably, there's the pulley, probably ate away at the bottom of the battery and spilt all over and rotted the pulley out. I'm going to get this cleaned up, wash it off, and on these things, on the back here, right there, it's like a spider gear setup. One for that axle, one for that axle. Well, if you lock that, then you'd have posi. So, I'm going to split the cases after I wash it. Weld that spider gear assembly together the right way. And being how that pulley's, I'm going to do a pulley swap, I think. I'm going to go down a little bit and put a new pulley on that. And we'll bolt it back under. I still got to rebuild the carburetor. And I was told that there's a charging issue. Now, I'm not sure about these craftsmen's. But right there, it looks like something should be mounted. And I had some wires that weren't plugged in. So I don't know if that's part of the charging assembly or not. But I'm going to find out. But I need to get the charging assembly done. I need to have starter wires. I need to run wires to the front for a winch. That is sitting underneath the bench over there. And uh, not too bad. I went and got a new tire too to match the other one. I had an 18858 or whatever it is. 
and uh, 1895 on the bottom there. So I went and got another 1895 to match size wise. It's got a little bit different pattern, but not too bad. And a new tube. So we're going to go from there and see what happens. Making progress, though. This is going to be a fun little project when I'm done. All right, folks. We're back. Um, Bob Jr.'s garage. Hello. Project we've been working on. Here in the garage, well, I've been working on it. Pretty cool little tractor. Picked it up cheap. Had to redo the rear end a little bit. Put a cargo carrier on there so I can haul my mining equipment. That's a plus for any miner. This thing will remove the deck. I have it if anybody might want it, I guess. If you're in the area, I have a deck for one of these. Notice a few things that are different other than the rack here. Let's look at the dash. If you look at the dash, and over here, right there, the starter button. That thing that we used to come up there was removed. I don't even remember what it was for. On this side, there's a choke, a light switch, and an off and on switch. That's it. Simplified. Had to fix the battery compartment. For some reason, the battery tray was sitting on top of a pulley, which wasn't good, so. Put a new battery in it. Well then in starting it and everything we found out a lot of things. Here's the throttle. Yes, yeah, you're wondering why is that mounted on the floorboard? Well it's pretty simple. You just put your foot up there and gives you gas. Simplified. Go ahead and open it up here. Simplified a lot of the wiring back in there. Mounted the box for the winch, which is right there. 2,500 pounds, ATV winch. To power that, and to run the wiring and everything, there's a power box mounted behind that plate, and then some wires that go down, up, and around over to the battery. Pretty simple. There's a remote for it too that I got hanging on the dash. Had to rebuild the starter. You see I got a custom exhaust here. That's an exhaust off a little ATV. Had to fabricate that. Made a little bend. My welds ain't the greatest. I have a cheap welder. But had to pull the head apart and redo it. Nice little 16 horse. Overhead valve. Kind of nice. So I tweaked the governor a little bit and put in a shutoff valve. It already had a new filter on, so I left it there. Ran a, my throttle. Pretty simple, actually. I don't know if you can see that very well. But, right there, that's the throttle to the cable, and I just put a spring on it, and it mounts right up into there. Pretty simple. Keeps it pulled back, and then I got the throttle response I want, and that cable goes up and around inside the box underneath the gas tank. Oh, these front tires probably will not stay. They're too small. 
I had a bad bearing out on one. I didn't like that, so until I get it fixed, I had these laying around. I figured I'd put them on temporarily. It looks cool, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. So we'll see the performance that it needs for what I'm using it for. I'm just going to be hauling stuff, so I don't know that I need big fat tires that are heavy. These things are pretty lightweight. Most of my weight will be back here. Hopefully it'll be full of gold. Buckets of gold. Anyway. So this is Bob Jr. Let me know what you think. I mean, a lot of little work into that. But it's, you know, for around the house or whatever, I can do the yard work and farming with it. I got a lawn tractor here the kids can mow with that runs really good. And there's it's unmodified pretty much, but this is my little modified lawn tractor.